On behalf of the Educational Opportunity Center faculty and staff, I would like to ask that you join me as we observe a moment of reflection, taking this time to be mindful of the past year and its impact, reflecting on those who had losses and providing comfort as we find ourselves beginning a new normal, to offer gratitude for those in all professions of care who have struggled tirelessly to serve others, to comfort the sick and to save lives and also to our many essential frontline workers who admirably and bravely supported us during this pandemic. To reflect on this past year to acknowledge what was learned, what was gained, and what can be brought into the future. We call upon the common bond of our humanity to share in this thoughtful reflection, and we look hopefully toward the future and the bright opportunities that are so evident in today's commencement ceremony. So, I would ask you now to join me in a moment of silence. Thank you. Welcome to the Capital District Educational Opportunity Center's 55th graduation celebration. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Lucille Marion. I'm a Vice President of Hudson Valley Community College and I serve as the Executive Director of the EOC, a position that I've held for 26 years. A year ago, I stood here on this very spot to record a welcome address for our 2020 graduates. When I made that recording, it was only a few weeks after the world was put on pause and we began to negotiate life in the midst of a pandemic. When I made that recording a year ago, I knew we were in a unique time, a time like no other any of us had ever experienced. What I didn't know then is that I would be standing here again 12 months later making a second video address to congratulate the EOC graduates of 2021. A year ago, I'm not sure any of us knew what to expect, nor did we realize or understand how long this pandemic would last nor how deep an impact there would be on our lives because of it. I'm not sure for you, but I know for me, it was all just a bit surreal a year ago. Flash forward from that date and here I stand again feeling simultaneously like the last year has both flown by and that it has equally dragged on in what seems like an eternity. Over this past year our lives were impacted in so many ways. We stayed in our homes much more than we ever have done in the past in order to stay safe and healthy. We learned to wash our hands a million times a day as well as become quite familiar with the unique smell of hand sanitizer. We learned to wear masks and hopefully learned how to keep our glasses from fogging up when we wore them. We stopped hugging and handshaking and visiting with friends and family. And we learned how far six feet can be when you have to be that far away from those you care about. For some of us, we learned how to be at-home teachers to our children and grandchildren. We learned to balance many competing needs for ourselves, our loved ones, and our community. At the EOC, we learned how to organize classrooms, offices, and meeting spaces to bring people together and yet keep them apart. We learned how to do daily screenings and weekly surveillance testing to make sure that we kept ourselves and those around us safe. Our teachers learned how to teach differently, especially when our students could not be physically with us in classrooms. We learned how to communicate with each other differently through Zoom calls and the Remind app, through scheduled appointments versus just dropping in. We learned how to flex and how to balance and we learned how to do it all and hopefully stay positive in the process. Yes, our lives changed greatly over the last year, but as I think back over these last 12 months, I note that amid the, all the change that surrounded us, something also remained very much the same. What never wavered throughout this crisis was the commitment and hard work that drives the EOC. It's there in our faculty, it's there in our staff, and it is so very much there in our students. And this year, it was there in a way that was beyond measure. This past year was not a year well suited for everyone to undertake coursework. Sometimes the need to be that at-home teacher to children who were studying remotely needed to take priority over the educational aspirations of our students. Sometimes needing to ensure that there was an income stream for the family meant that work needed to come before school. Sometimes the concern of how best to stay safe and healthy meant staying away from school was more important than being in school. Yes, there were lots of things that had the potential for keeping students away from the EOC and away from their classes, but for those who were able to make enrollment possible, what we saw 
were students who were incredibly committed to achieving their goals no matter what obstacles loomed before them. All EOC students and graduates are dedicated and committed, but this year, more so than any other year, those adjectives truly describe the EOC graduate. In a few weeks, the Summer Olympics will be held in Tokyo, Japan. To quote a former Olympic hero, Jesse Owens, a four-time gold medalist in the 1936 Olympic Games, we all have dreams, but in order to make dreams come into reality, it takes an awful lot of determination, dedication, self-discipline, and effort. Jesse Owens knew exactly what that meant. He could not have achieved what he was able to achieve, including three world records, without determination, dedication, self-discipline, and effort. I know that receiving a certificate of completion from the EOC in no way compares to winning an Olympic medal, but in another way, it really does compare. The certificates that will be distributed to our graduates following this ceremony are given because those who are receiving them earn them through incredibly hard work. Hard work made even harder in the era of a pandemic. Each and every graduate of the EOC this year earned their certificate because of the determination, dedication, self-discipline, and effort that they showed inside their classrooms, whether here on site or in virtual classrooms. Each certificate is its own gold medal, its own trophy, a trophy that tells the world you achieved what you set out to achieve, a trophy that says you made your dream a reality because you didn't hold back, because you put the work in to make it possible. And for that, we applaud you. We applaud you for taking the risk, for trusting the EOC to help you on your journey. We applaud you for putting in the time, time that this year could have been easily directed in a hundred different ways. We applaud you for having the perseverance to keep pushing through each and every challenge that came your way, for persisting and never giving up. Yes, this year was a year like no other, and that makes our EOC graduates stand out as graduates like no other. We couldn't be more proud of you. Yes, this is a year we will never forget, and we hope that our graduates will never forget it either. Sure, there are a lot of things about our pandemic year that we would like to forget, but I hope that our graduates will never forget that they spent this year at the EOC. I hope that they will not forget the foundation the EOC has provided them. Yes, this is a year for another virtual graduation ceremony, and I pray that it will be our last. I hope that a year from now, I'll be standing on the stage in the gymnasium at Hudson Valley Community College, talking face to face with a room filled with family friends of our 2022 graduates but also our 2021 and our 2020 graduates who were denied an in-person graduation. I hope to be able to once again offer handshakes and hugs as three years worth of graduates walk across the stage to the thunderous applause of the audience. A lot can happen in 12 months. We were witness to that this past year. I trust that over the next 12 months, a lot more will happen for our graduates. I trust that over the next 12 months, our graduates will achieve even greater success as they venture into jobs and college. And on that note, let me ask each of our graduates to please let us know of your accomplishments after you leave us. Your success is important to us and we wanna celebrate your achievements with you. So please don't be a stranger. Keep in touch with us next year and in all the years to come. While we look forward to next year's hopefully in-person graduation, let me just take a moment now to thank all those individuals who worked behind the scenes to make this virtual graduation ceremony possible. Special thanks go to Elaine and Nathan Harwood and the graduation committee members who worked so hard over so many weeks. And I would also like to acknowledge the outstanding staff of the Hudson Valley Community College Multimedia and Video Services Department for their fine work in securing the video messages that are part of this ceremony. Let me also thank all the children, spouses, family members, and friends of our graduates for giving them the support they needed on their educational journey. We know they couldn't do it without you. And graduates, please don't forget to thank all those who have supported you. We don't make this journey alone. We do it together. And a little later in this program, when the names of our graduates appear on screen, don't hold back. Cheer as loud as you would if you were in person because this accomplishment is well worth cheering for. I know that in their respective homes, as they watch this video, the EOC faculty and staff will be cheering each of our graduates as their names appear. They too have been on this journey with you, and they too know how much this accomplishment is worth celebrating. There's truly no place like the EOC, and I am so proud to be a part of this incredible institution. 
I know that you, as an EOC graduate, are proud too. Make sure that you let the world know about all that you accomplished while at the EOC. Tell others about the great programs and incredible faculty and staff, and make sure people know you are a proud graduate of the EOC and encourage them to check out what the EOC can offer them as they look to make their dreams a reality. We thank you for choosing the EOC, and we thank you for your hard work and persistence. And most of all, we thank you for inspiring us each and every day. Congratulations, graduates. Hello, everyone. I am Dr. Roger Ramisamy, President of Hudson Valley Community College. And on behalf of the entire college community, it's my privilege to celebrate the incredible achievements of our newest EOC graduates. Class of 2021, congratulations on reaching this wonderful milestone. We are all extraordinarily proud of the perseverance, dedication, and commitment you have shown throughout your time at the EOC especially given the challenges of the past year or so. No matter what obstacles you may have faced, personal or pandemic related, each of you has risen to the occasion. And today, we celebrate your success. The hard work you have put into earning accolades today shows just how smart, strong and capable you all truly are. And by reaching this moment, you have proven you have the power to create positive change in your own lives and in our community, no matter what the circumstances. Today, as you graduate and join the ranks of more than 50,000 EOC alumni who have come before you, know that you are prepared with all the skills you need to turn your knowledge into action that will have a meaningful, lifelong impact. Graduates, the truth is, you are the change makers that the world needs. Your skills and services and specialties are essential. You've already shown that you have the strength, the determination, and the compassion to put them to good use. Now all you have to do is keep your eyes open to situations in which you are needed, and to have the courage and compassion to act on them. Your fellow EOC graduates are all around us, giving back to our communities in so many ways, whether it's by working in the medical industry, culinary arts or construction trades, or going on to pursuing a college degree. Each class of EOC graduates contributes to our workforce, our economy, and our community in ways that cannot be underestimated. Now it's your turn to make your mark. Before you is a world of opportunity and promise. Keep working hard to seize it and make the most of each and every day. You all have such bright futures, and we can't wait to see what you accomplish next. Congratulations once again to all of the graduates of the EOC class of 2021. Good evening, everyone. I'm Neil Kelleher, Chairman of the Hudson Valley Board of Trustees, and it's my distinct honor on behalf of the entire board to congratulate this year's Educational Opportunity Center graduates on your remarkable accomplishments. I know this journey has come with its share of challenges and obstacles, especially over the past year, but you've now reached the top of that mountain. No matter what your individual circumstances are, your hard work is now paying off. I can assure you that everyone you've encountered along the way, whether in person or from afar, is extremely proud of you. And you all should be every bit as proud of yourself. Today, as you move from being EOC students to EOC graduates and alumni, you'll find doors are open to the possibilities of the future. Whether you choose to continue your education, hopefully right here at Hudson Valley, start a new job, or open a business, you get to write the next chapter of your lives. And that's an immensely powerful position to be in. So I have a simple request for you. Always do whatever you can to use that power in a positive way. No matter who we are or where we come from, there are times when we all need a helping hand or a second chance. You have the power to use your skills and your education to extend that helping hand to others. You never know when you'll meet someone whose life you'll have an impact on. Sometimes it's on a large scale, and sometimes it's something that seems small, that maybe you don't even notice. But no matter what you do or where you go, I can assure you there will be absolutely be times in your life where your influence will make all the difference to someone in need. And that gesture of helping someone else in the way you've been helped is how you change the world for the better. Another thing, 
And whenever you have a chance, spread the word to others about the opportunities the EOC has brought into your lives. Many students, just like yourselves, hear about this place from friends and family members who have studied here themselves, and their lives are now better for it. As a matter of fact, we are all better for it because the EOC and its students are an important part of both the Hudson Valley family and our greater community. Don't forget that you are part of that family now and we will continue to support you on your journey no matter where it leads. Just one last thought, in a matter of a personal commitment I've made, whenever the occasion presents itself, I always need to add that if you or anyone you know is struggling with any kind of substance use disorder, please drop a dime, intervene. You just might save a life. Speaking of that, I've been advised that my use of dropping a dime has become somewhat dated due to many not remembering or perhaps even knowing about when pay phones were a thing. So I'll rephrase it by just saying, don't be afraid to get involved. During the pandemic, overdose has continued to take as many, if not more lives than COVID-19. The disease of alcohol and substance use disorder thrives in isolation. And over the last year, many have been advised to do just that stay home and isolate. While the battle is most certainly still one best characterized as uphill, your intervention can still help someone in or heading toward crisis. Finally, to the class of 2021, one more time, on behalf of the Board of Trustees, congratulations to each and every one of you. Please go with our best hopes and wishes for a successful, engaging, and healthy future. And may God bless you, your families, and this wonderful country we have the privilege of calling home. Thank you. Have a good evening. Hello, and welcome to Capital District EOC's graduation ceremony for the class of 2021. And to all of the family and supporters joining us today, I am so pleased that you are here to celebrate with us. My name is Lisa McKay, and I am the Associate Provost and Director of SUNY's University Center for Academic and Workforce Development. Let me begin by saying on behalf of our entire statewide system of educational opportunity centers and attain labs, congratulations on the tremendous accomplishment of completing your EOC program. All across New York State, EOCs like Capital District empower upward mobility by removing barriers to education and truly creating access to opportunity. Our institutions were created over 50 years ago to impart skills, to enhance college and job prospects, and most importantly, to improve the communities and the lives of our students. Your graduating class has experienced firsthand the lengths that our faculty and staff will go through to fulfill those promises. And we appreciate each and every one of you that chose EOC. In one sense, this moment of celebration represents and you know, presents as a crossroads for our graduates. It's a time to reflect on their journey that led to this achievement, the determination that it took to make you know, any sort of change in life, the courage that it took to make that first outreach to the EOC, the persistence it took to complete your program, and perhaps most importantly, you did it all while navigating the trials and tribulations of a global pandemic. And while today's celebration marks that achievement, I can't help but look ahead. We, the Capital District EOC and UCAWD, are so profoundly excited to see what you will do next. By completing your program, you've shown that you've had the skills, the smarts, and the grit to take this massive step forward in your life. And the education that the EOC has given you will definitely provide you with options for your future. Whether you obtained your high school equivalency diploma, honed your English skills, or became certified in a career path, there are now options available to you that may have seemed unattainable previously. One thing I know for sure is that the Capital District EOC will always be here for you long after today. From college preparation to job placement to any type of support that you might need, even if it's just a home away from home. The EOC has no plans, we have no plans, of making today a goodbye. While there is much that the EOC can continue to offer you, we truly want to move forward with you and celebrate all your milestone achievements in your future. We know that there are some great things to come. So please enjoy and treasure this day. You've earned it, you deserve it, Congratulations, and we certainly wish you all the best.
that life has to offer. Have a good evening. We have hundreds of students who come to the EOC each year to achieve their goals. So while I have the pleasure of introducing you to this year's student speaker, she represents a much larger group of students whose lives have changed because of their commitment to their learning and their hard work. I am proud of every one of you. While each one of you has your own story as to how you have come to this place, I have the pleasure of introducing to one of you who will talk about her own story. Rebecca Rosa has known about the EOC for a long time. She came in 2002 for support in finding a job. It was not until 15 years later, in 2017, that she enrolled in our academic programs. And in three years, she earned her high school equivalency diploma, yay, and she completed the medical office assistant program. Now, she is using what she learned at the EOC in her work at St. Peter's Hospital. Rebecca excelled at the EOC. She earned UCOD's Academic Achievement Award and was named Student of Excellence for the Medical Office Assistant Program. She also received her National Workplace Readiness Credential and represented the EOC on the SUNY Voices Action Committee. The EOC is a place that allows each person to find their way. Rebecca certainly found hers. It is my pleasure to introduce this year's speaker, Rebecca Rosa. What brought me here to EOC was the goal to obtain my GED. EOC is a great program. The teachers are friendly, helpful, and definitely persistent. They're more like moms. And when I say moms, they are very persistent and they call a lot. <laughs> so if you are ever doubting to continue or saying, you know what, I'm not going today, I won't go tomorrow, come the next day. They'll be able to help you out with whatever happened yesterday and the day before. EOC has helped me through obtaining my GED, which I obtained. I also had a tragic in my life, which brought me back a while, but when I came back, it was like I was never gone. EOC has helped me through many struggles, especially math, which was very, very hard for me. Math was one of my struggles that I couldn't achieve, but thanks to EOC, I achieved it. I achieved my GED. I also obtained my MOA certificate, and I'm currently working at Samaritan Hospital, which I do their medical assistant, basically. So coming here has helped me and changed my life significantly. My advice for fellow graduates. My advice to my fellow graduates is, first, congratulations to all, and second, life does not stop here. Continue your achievements and your goals. There is so much more that EOC offers. This is only a stepping stone. You can continue your career, go to college, and further your dreams if you choose. Students of Excellence recipients are identified by the faculty in each program. The awards are presented to students who consistently exemplify a positive attitude, solid work habits, and high quality workmanship. These important attributes have allowed the students to be successful at the EOC and will carry with them into the future, in college or in the workplace. The recipients this year are, in building trades, Joshua Basso, and Clint Junko. In cosmetology, Aaliyah Howard and Kiesia Rogers. In culinary, Jacob Nolan. In nursing assistant, Kelsey Barton. In welding, Nathaniel Taylor and Jose Mendez. In welding upgrade, Justin Tufts and Robert Vallee. In intro to high school equivalency, Shante Robinson and Muku Shi. In pre high school equivalency, Janan Alkarki and Vanessa Lewis. In math preparation, Brooke Cooney and Shaniqua Wilson. In pre college prep, Ki Mann and Erica Diggs. In vocational foundations, Shante Ellis and Marquis McNeil. In high school equivalency preparation, Raymond Kiefer and Ann Wilsey. In college preparation, 
Nicholas Cartwright. And in Medical Office Administration, Rebecca Rosa and Shadea Shelby. Recognition of service to the EOC awards are presented to students who have gone above and beyond in their service to the EOC during the previous academic year. The recipients are Rebecca Rosa, April Hussein, Tamika Mays, and Shante Ellis. Captain's Awards are presented on a regular basis throughout the academic year. Captain's Awards are presented to students nominated for demonstrating leadership in the following areas. Communication, attitude, problem solving, teamwork, attendance, initiative, neighborliness, and spirit service. The recipients this year in communication are Rebecca Rosa. In attitude, we have Mukushi, Yamara Serana Garcia, Shante Robinson, Hopi Cruz, Richard Ferronis, Uria Douglas, Fatat Hassan, Brooke Cooney, Carrie Runier, Amanda Hansen, Farah Zamani, Clementina Vieira, Vishlav Homanov, Shauna Wilby, Jose Young, Janan Alkari, Bessie Maybe, and Angelica Santiago. In attendance, we have Jacob Schaub, Anthony Hardy, and Jasper Singletary. In initiative, we have Shaniqua Wilson, Ashwak Shabain, Abdulistar Goda, Raymond Kiefer, Clementina Vieira, and Noreen Boyd. For neighborliness, we have Ayet Ibrahim, Juan Aviles, Honey Grace Trace, Edward Johnson, Abir Ahmed, and Emma Grenage. For spirit and service, we have Shante Ellis, Robert Vallet, and Justin Tufts. EOC students who attend local two- and four-year colleges are eligible for numerous scholarship opportunities. The following awards through Hudson Valley Community College are especially relevant for EOC students. The Holly Lanehart Memorial Scholarship was named in memory of the daughter of the former EOC Vice President and Executive Director, James Sharp. Applicants must be a full-time, matriculated EOC transfer student enrolled in either a business or individual studies program at Hudson Valley with the intent of transferring into a business curriculum. Congratulations, Najla Danishire and Gabriella Gorman. Joseph J. Bulmer was the third president of Hudson Valley Community College and served from 1979 through 1996. He was born and raised in South Troy and was a strong supporter of the EOC. Upon his retirement, Dr. Bulmer established a scholarship fund for EOC students who subsequently enroll in college. This scholarship is awarded to a full-time EOC transfer student enrolled for the fall semester at Hudson Valley. Congratulations, Fatma Amiri and Priscilla Doncor. Finally, uh, we have the Richard Spence Health Services Career Award. Richard Spence committed 21 years to the EOC and its students. This scholarship was established by his colleague, Anne Marie, or as we know her, Tina Moan, to commemorate that service and honor his legacy. This merit-based scholarship will be awarded annually to a graduate of the EOC's nursing assistant program, who may not otherwise have the opportunity to pursue a college degree. This scholarship is renewable for a second year if the student maintains the original eligibility requirements. Congratulations, Fatma Amiri. The next award is the Alliance Student Award. This is an award that students are nominated for by their counselors, instructors, and tutors. There are six criteria students must excel at to be nominated for this award. The first criteria is attendance. The next is citizenship being respectful of others, demonstrating good character by being honest and dependable, and giving back to the community. The third criteria is a positive attitude. A positive attitude is being optimistic and encouraging. 
The fourth criteria is scholarship, a student's academic achievements. The fifth criteria is perseverance, one's commitment in doing something despite difficulties or delays in achieving success. The last criteria is personal growth, the ongoing process of understanding and developing oneself in order to achieve one's fullest potential. Once nominated for the Alliance Student Award, a committee chooses the winners. The chair of the Alliance Student Award Committee, Barb Talbot, will now announce the next winner. Our EOC students are all very special and unique in their own ways. It's always a challenge choosing a few students from the list of graduates for the Student Alliance Awards. This year is no different. Our first award winner comes from the Certified Nursing Assistant Program. CNA has always had its challenges with all the medical and financial requirements involved, but with COVID requirements, participating in the clinical experience added a new challenge. The class that this student was in had to wait until some of the restrictions were lifted to enter the nursing home. This meant returning a few months later to complete the course and to sit for the exam. Our award winner had to work hard at balancing her time due to other pulls in her life. She proved herself to be a very dedicated student with her instructor, noting an a attitude along with a final grade of 100. She always strived to do her best. Her nominator felt she was a shining example of what the EOC is all about. Even though she had her own problems, she took the time to help others. She understood that everyone had their own personal issues. She would often say, if people did not help me, I do not know where I would be. Without any prompting, she would make sure to give her notes to students that missed class. She would offer help to students that were having trouble with their skills. She was a good listener, and in the clinical environment, she was always offering her help to her peers and to the residents. She stated that the EOC is a place that offers free courses for people like her, people who are trying to make a positive change in their life. She is currently employed at Van Rensselaer Manor, and her next step is to apply to Hudson Valley Community College. Congratulations to Kelsey Barton. Our second award winner is no stranger here at the EOC. He earned his high school equivalency diploma here prior to beginning the welding program. This year, he completed the National Work Readiness Credential Exam Preparation Program, and he will finish his advanced welding program this summer. The award winner has earned multiple captain's awards. They include recognition for attendance, neighborliness, initiative, problem solving, and spirit and service. He has been a tremendous help to the instructors since Toby first arrived back in 2019. He consistently helped with ongoing repair and maintenance in the welding room. He even transitioned his skills to assist cosmetology in repairing the mannequin tripods that were going to be discarded. He discussed the issue and then methodically and expertly restored nearly two dozen tripods to perfect working order. In addition, his nominator considers him to have one of the more inventive and genius minds that he's ever encountered. And if that's not enough, he's described as always being willing to drop what he's doing for himself and to do what is needed to help someone else. Congratulations to Justin Tufts. Our third and final award winner has also been at EOC for a few years going through the academic programs. She began in 2018 as a Gateway student. She demonstrated her desire and commitment to her education, coming from Schenectady to work with a tutor three days a week for four weeks in a row to retest and get the score she needed to start classes, all in just over a month. She has relied on her strong work ethic self-discipline and perseverance to continue her educational focus despite the other challenges in her life. She worked hard in her academic classes from the start and wanted to work independently and was initially hesitant to ask for help. With some time and encouragement, she grew more comfortable approaching her instructors and tutor for help. As she advanced through the material, she gained confidence, skills, and momentum and started completing later units in much less time than it had taken to complete the earlier ones. As her comfort level increased, EOC got to know her a little better and discovered what an amazing person she is. She has earned captain's awards for initiative and attitude. She is patiently waiting to hear the results of her task scores to know what her next steps will be. Congratulations to Shaniqua Wilson.
As our ceremony draws to an end, let's make this official. I hope many of you are wearing your cap and gown right now, and for those of you who are not, let's assume in this virtual world that you are. And so, by virtue of the completion of your program of study, you are now a graduate of the Capital District Educational Opportunity Center. Let's designate this completion by having you move that tassel on your cap from the right to the left. Congratulations to you all. Oh my gosh, <laughs> graduation starting. Hey Beth, come look at this. It's graduation. Oh my gosh, graduation. Amber, check this out. This is awesome. Awesome. Oh my gosh. Wow. <laughs> what are you guys doing on? on? It's graduation. Graduation. Oh my, oh my gosh. gosh, it's graduation. That's so exciting. Congratulations, graduates from the from enrollment and, and testing departments. Woo! Congratulations, class of 2021. You've worked hard for this achievement. Remember to stay in touch. We love to hear of all of your future successes. Congratulations, graduates. I'm so very proud of you, and you should be incredibly proud of yourself. Have a wonderful summer, and I wish you only the best. Congratulations, EOC graduates. This was a year full of challenges. I'm so impressed and proud of all that you have done. Congratulations, EOC graduates. We are so happy for you, so inspired by you. The fact that you were able to accomplish this in this crazy year makes it that much sweeter. So best of luck to you as you move forward and onward and upward. Hi, I'm Miss Ben, and I teach all things math. Remember, Great results come from hard work. Well done, graduates. Congratulations. Hi, everyone. It's Kelly here. I just wanted to congratulate all the graduates. Meeting this kind of milestone during a pandemic is truly remarkable, and it shows the amazing work ethic you all have. I'm so proud of all the students I worked with over this past year and a half on Zoom. Thank you for your patience as we navigated technology, and thank you for tuning in and participating, even though it wasn't always the same as in person. Um, I also wanna give a special shout out to Shay, Justin, Erica, and Marquis who are graduates of my class and they went on to other programs at EOC. Uh, they received end of the year awards for their academic excellence and personal achievements. So way to go, that's really exciting. And again, congratulations to all the graduates. Congratulations. Yay, you did 
presented. Congratulations, graduates from Tatum and Chastity from College and Career Services. Take pride in how far you've come. And have faith in how far you will go. And remember to enjoy, enjoy the, the journey. journey. graduates, this is Victoria from Instructional Services. I just wanted to congratulate you on a job well done. Um, enjoy this day of celebration and um, take these moments with you going forward. You struggled and persevered and found strength through this difficult time to uh, attain this achievement and we're so proud of you. Congratulations.